With the holidays right around the corner, can you believe it? Mm. Offices will soon be holding their annual potluck. Some of them already are, yeah. and that means that everyone's going to bring their favorite dish, which are really good at making. Of course. Now, right? whether those dishes hope. are any good, <laughs> that's a different story. Yeah, one employee was tasked with bringing macaroni and cheese. Easy. And well, we can't say she didn't do that because <laughs> here you go. She brought macaroni and she brought some cheese. She's very literal. And she kind of mixed them together in a bowl and <laughs> that was pretty much it. I'm not sure how well cooked the macaroni is, but the cheese clearly not melted on that. Uh, one of her coworkers tweeted about it and said the dish had no type of seasoning either, so some pretty bland mac and cheese. Word to the wise, if you're not sure how to make something for a potluck, do what I do and just, you know, buy cookies. Have somebody Everybody else make Everybody will it. eat those. I mean, but really, what were but the coworkers cheese, expecting? Like sliced the truffles the in box. there and some pancetta? <laughs> No, but you're right. It usually comes with a cheese, yes. too. Like, what happened to the little Velveeta packet of the cheese? Velveeta shells and cheese. You just squeeze out that cheese, and it's delicious. Oh, <laughs> I'd still give it a try. All right, some people these days are just obsessed with how many social media followers they have. Do not hold your breath for KFC to hit the follow button. This guy in South Dakota realized that the chicken chain only follows 11 Twitter accounts. Those 11 people, he says, five Spice Girls and six guys named Herb. Get it? 11 I herbs and spices. It. Yeah, <laughs> I need time to process this. The guy says, "I think it's really just genius. Well played, KFC." Good and I job. think I think I saw on Twitter that one of the herbs is actually a former UM football player. Oh, so a, a local that. guy getting some love. I gotta go look you up did your research. his last name. I saw this on Twitter. I spent <laughs> far too much time there. Okay, so this take. Rip jeans uh, to a oh. whole new level. Did we need to censor this? I'm not sure. No, it looks like she's got a leotard on. Does so she I need to pay for that? That's what I want. I don't know. know. Forget just a couple of tears on the knees. These designer jeans cut out the knees, the thighs, the shins, and as you see there, the, the rear end as well. They've been dubbed thong jeans, and they debuted at Amazon Fashion Week in Tokyo this week. I couldn't find the price of the jeans, but save yourself some money. Just take the jeans you have, run them over with a lawnmower or anything. Just. Take a scissor yeah, to know, it, I, and you'll be good to go. I think we need to censor that because somebody's going to get a phone call, and it's not the Amazon <laughs> fashion people 